So let's talk about your financial situation first. We do have here the Ten of Pentacles as well. Uh, I'm sorry, the Two of Pentacles as well as the Ten of Cups. Now, the Two of Pentacles is a situation where you are potentially weighing out the pros and cons, where you are managing, where you are like uh, struggling as well, shuffling around in order to keep the family unit together, in order to keep things afloat, in order to maintain this idyllic type of a marriage situation, okay? There might be disharmony within the household unit. And I do feel that, you know, as the pillar of the um, family foundation, um, you are very, very much committed into making a situation work. So a lot of you, I feel almost like you you have this energy um, of Atlas. You're carrying the burden of the world on your shoulders. You're trying to accommodate everyone. And a lot of you, you have very, very strong emotional ties to the family unit. So that could be your childhood home. That could be the home that you are creating for yourself, the family situation that you are creating for yourself. I do feel that, you know, children growing up um, very rapidly, I, I do feel that financial resources are draining as well uh, as a result of them growing up very quickly. And because of it, I do feel that you're trying to find ways to, you know, manage the responsibilities of being a parent, being a worker, being a mother, father, being a wife, husband. And I do feel that these things are going to be, uh, there's a, like a balance, a very, very fine balancing act that you are going to have to, to struggle through for this month in order to keep the family unit floating, functioning, and uh, in order, okay? A little bit of a disheveled energy surrounding the home environment. A lot of things are happening, and I do feel that um, just make sure you take care of your health situation. And You know, health encompasses more than just your physical health. Make sure you are in a state of mind where your partner is chipping in and that everyone is doing their fair share of the work. Otherwise, it can take a toll on the relationship, the significant relationship that you have, as well as your mental health, okay? So keep that in check. What I'm also sensing is, for a lot of you, there might be some type of um, travel arrangement, like travels. A, a lot of you might have a lot of people in your own um, exclusive home environment or family unit and there might be some vacation plans there might be some travel in the picture but I feel that finances are a little bit short there might be a lot of people so then as a result of it the financial arrangement in terms of allowing everybody to travel it's uh, it requires a little bit of dithering it requires a little bit of compromise back and forth and you know um, juggling things a little bit in order to make ends meet so that you can physically travel together as a unit um, the other side of this is I just feel a lot of expenditures as well happening in the home environment as well as navigating all the energies disparate energies of other people in the home environment in order to make it harmonious okay don't drop the ball this month but you know at the same time go easy on yourself make sure the uh, other partner that you're in the home with are also reciprocating. I do feel like there's a single parent energy here where you are potentially driving the children back and forth between you and your former spouse's house or, you know, the, the father or the mother of the children. And as a result of it, there's a very busy energy connected to children overall. In terms of your communication, um, we have the page of swords as well as the five of wands. Now, there is an unnecessary conflict that is brewing in your midst, and it is telling me that it is smart for you not to even engage in it, okay? It's an unnecessary conflict. It is avoidable as well, so I feel like you are getting embroiled into a long-standing situation with another person. Um, this can be in work household environment, especially pertaining to rowdy children or some unruly element within the uh, family unit. Or it can be, I feel like more so on the work front or amongst children, if you tend to have like three or more children, okay? If you have like a blended family as well, um, a lot of discord might start to show up where the children are not getting along with each other. Just know that it's not a, a deal breaker. I feel like this is a temporary energy where people's tempers are flaring for no reason, but they are also going to... Um, calm themselves down. So this is not a situation that is going to be uh, per, uh, prevalent, pervasive or prevalent throughout the entire month. And this is just, you know, minor irritations that we're dealing with either in the work front, dealing with other people, 
people we are collaborating with or dealing with younger younger people like uh, children and things like that. Uh, what I'm also sensing is um, you are being, you know, pulled into this situation and it's totally avoidable. Okay, so do your best to uh, try to figure out. I feel that for a lot of you, you might be relied upon to play mediator for this month amongst like some type of dispute. You are the voice of reason. So it is really important for you to try to maintain fair balance and be, you know, like... Um, See both sides of the story. Don't jump to conclusions, okay? You might be called out to be mediator. So try to play devil's advocate. Try to look at both sides of the story. And at least, you know, half the whole story first before you jump to conclusions about anything pertaining to like a resolution or some type of a um, judgment call, all right? Now, the next card here, we do have the Tower as well as the Four of Cups. And I am going to say this is more on the relationship front, okay? Uh, first of all, the Four of Cups is a, in this spread, it is a situation where we are ruminating, we are thinking about something and we're not taking action on it, okay? With the Tower card, the Tower indicates some type of a breakdown, some type of a, um, I guess like a 180 turn around, unexpected turn of events when it pertains to the household environment. So for a lot of you, there might be some financial worries and things like that coming in from the house environment where the house might not might have physical problems with it might have structural problems or there could be some type of a dispute surrounding the home environment what i'm also feeling as well is there are a, i feel like a lot of people circulating around you you know it is the summertime so we tend to have like a lot of family gatherings uh graduations and you know just a, a lot of um very very major family milestones as well so this could you know create op more opportunities for family members to meet up and come together and as a result we're, we're dealing with a lot of like conflicting energy coming through from family members what i'm feeling here is we've got an air sign as well so it pertains to a person that is very different from us you know different element different communication styles so i do feel that it is really important for you once again to play mediator you might be called upon to be like you know to play a uh, marriage counselor to a friend of yours or a family member of yours who are contemplating separation or marriage okay if you have children with somebody who's no longer in the picture, there might be some changes within the financial arrangement with that person and they can no longer be paying alimony or child support in the manner that you'd hope. So I do feel there is some type of um, structural jarring issues within the household unit, within the physical location that you're looking at. I do feel this is something that has been in the picture that has you know shown itself within the past four months which indicates to me that you were trying to find a fair and um, best solution to this. And I feel like in the past, you might not have acted on it because you were still thinking, you were still trying to formulate a plan. And then this is the month in which everything comes to light so that you can no longer sweep it under the rug and then you have to address it as soon as it comes in. I do feel this is not a situation that you want to be caught in the middle of. So if you are nowhere emotionally or even tangentially related to the problem at hand, for example, if you're caught between two friends who are dating and they're no longer together, I do feel that if you're not related to that issue or if it's, you know, you don't want to be the go between or the middleman, it's important for you to draw the line, draw boundaries and just tell the other person, the other couple, you know, like I'm friends with you both and I don't want to have to choose sides. I do feel for a lot of you as well, if you are a little bit younger watching this, if you are put in a situation where there is some discord within the family and you might have to pick sides, don't pick. Just sit on the sidelines and let the situation boil over because I feel that you are emotionally rattled as a result of it. But it doesn't, it's something happening around you. It doesn't directly pertain to you. So let it be and let the energy boil over. Let the parties that are immediately involved in it take care of it themselves, okay? There's no need to get worked up over somebody else's karma that doesn't pertain to you. So be careful about this, okay? Now, in terms of your energy, we do have the Prince of Wands as well as the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups indicates a situation where... So this pertains to love and relationships and contracts and things like that. 
So the Two of Cups indicates a coming together between two very, very um, like-minded energy. I do feel for a lot of you, you are potentially traveling to um, meet a romantic partner. You are traveling in order to reconnect with another person, in order, order to smooth some things out with another person. Um, I do feel there is a lot of passion associated with this as well, which indicates to me a very strong um, sense of like physical chemistry, sexual chemistry, but also emotional chemistry between you and another person. It's the soulmate aspect, okay? For a lot of you, this might be an air sign. So Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And I do feel as well that it indicates to me, um, this is a situation, it seems to me like you've had some problems with this person in the past in order to, you know, reach some state of harmony. I do feel that you were a little bit, um, I feel like slow on the uptake. So you were sitting there thinking and overthinking and ruminating over this situation, like, should I or shouldn't I? Should I go for it or shouldn't I go for it? Um, do I want to commit myself or do I want to just date very casually? So there has been something like um, that, that really, really stirs your passion or another person that really stirs your passion. But I didn't feel that you were acting on it. You weren't sure-footed and you're not really sure if this is something that you're ready to emotionally invest in. Because a lot of you have gotten out of troublesome situations. You were getting your financial situation in order. You had a lot on your plate. And as a result of it, you don't know if you want to re-engage with another relationship like this. For others of you, you might have recently gotten through a divorce, moved out of a home environment, or somewhat pushed out of a home environment. I feel that you were dealing with a very strong karmic connection with another person where, you know, you, um, you have a very long rooted history. I do feel that if this is somebody from the past, I don't advise clients usually to go back to a situation from their past. But what I feel is happening here is you might be tempted to return to a situation from your past. So let me just say, you know, up front, if it is a situation from your past and you feel like, okay, I have sufficiently grown, mature, and I know how to fix this problem. And here are some of the things in which I have grown. Uh, ways in which I have grown. Here are some of the new things that we can implement as a couple, as a unit. And the other person has sufficiently shown me they that they themselves have mature, have grown, and have changed. If you can honestly tell yourself that, then try to go back and reconcile this situation. Take it very slowly and see how things are going to go. I do feel there is a very strong air energy. So this is uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. There's also a water element associated with this as well. So this is going to be like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So if you're dealing with either one of those signs and it's a long-standing issue, make sure that both sides have sufficiently grown up in order to re-engage, okay? On the other hand, I definitely see new connections, new contracts coming through for you as a result of some type of a travel opportunity. Uh, if you have been having, you know, if you're in a relationship, for example, and you have been quite stressed out, quite worried, I do feel taking a trip, like retreating with your significant other, will strengthen and reconnect the bonds between the relationship. What I'm also feeling as well is that um, take a little bit more time to really nurture your significant other, nurture the other person, and and you know make some gestures to thank them for the things that they have, the value that they have added to your life, as well as the things that they have you know helped you with in the past. Because I feel like this is the month in which. Uh, gratitude is going to basically uh, repair a lot of rifts, a lot of emotional distance within relationships, okay? On the other hand, I definitely feel some contracts finalizing. So if you are on a client basis, like you're working and you're trying to procure clients and you're traveling, you're doing either sales gigs, consultations, or you're doing some type of situation, you're in some type of a work situation where you have to go out and make sure, you know, land clients, make sure they sign contracts. A lot of contracts are being signed. A lot of success is coming through for you. Now, success is coming through for this month, but I don't feel the money is going to be equivalent to the success that you feel. The money is trickling in very, very slowly, so don't bank on this success and go and blow your money. Um, make sure that 
whatever. So for example, if you're getting like a lot of, um, uh, if you're, you, you work on a commission basis and you feel like, okay, I've got like 15 deals that, that came through this month and you go ahead and just spend the money that you're anticipating those 15 deals would bring you. I don't feel that's a good idea because I feel there is a little bit of a delay when it comes to getting some type of royalty check, commission check, bonuses, um, winnings, earnings, and, and things like that. Okay, so take it very, very slow and don't spend recklessly because I feel like the money is not coming in fast enough to replenish the rate in which you are spending. So curb the tendency to, you know, project ahead of time how much money is coming through and how much I can spend based on what the money is coming through. So be, um, mindful about that okay leos in terms of the advice what i have here for you i um have four cards and this princess of wands this one came out together with the six of wands so i'm going to read them together as a unit so first of all there is definitely a lot of guarantee major success for you in the work environment and i don't feel this is success that is falling on your lap I feel that you've had to go out of your way. You have to make those phone calls. You've had to like really, you know, go out and basically hustle in order for you to land all these contracts, in order for you to carve a little uh, niche market for yourself, in order for you to attract the right types of investors, the right type of clients, the right types of portfolios, things like that. So a lot of diligent hard work on your end is paying dividends and you're getting a lot of success and you're getting a lot of work coming through. Okay. For others of you who are stably employed, I definitely feel there might be a situation where you are like um, getting a promotion or possibly two different promotions. One of them might be geographically like uh, a little bit further from where you are working right now. The other one might be in the uh, general proximity and you are trying to weigh out, you know, pros and cons, like, do I want to take the further option or do I want to stay where I am? Or do I want to take the option that is, you know, in my immediate environment? Because I feel like there is something about moving a family unit as a result of work or contemplation about, you know, work geography and family so all of these things are in the picture as well but i definitely feel a lot of success coming through on the work front pertaining to your past efforts your diligence your hard work and um, i feel like your the charisma of your your energy that you're bringing to the work environment paying off and you're going to get a lot of accolades and very positive reception as a, a result okay um, a lot of you might be in a um, seminar, like um, you might be a speaker, you might use your voice, you might um, have some very like, um, you might have a huge following or like a large audience that you're doing speaking engagements to. So you might bounce around quite a bit. And as a result, I do feel that there is some type of um, energy coming through where success comes through through the way that you communicate with others so you might be a public speaker you might give seminars you might give lessons where you are in the limelight and you're showing people how to do something uh, like you're you're passing on a skill set that you have to other people you're showing people how to do things and you're dealing with very young energy so you could also be in the speaking you know in this uh, teaching profession as well but you're going to get a lot of accolades um, be mindful about getting enough sleep okay i feel like a lot of bouncy energy and you know as a fire sign you naturally have a lot of energy but you want to direct it towards it's kind of like work smart it's like working smart so conserve your energy but also like um find a better streamlined way of exerting your energy so that you're not overtaxing yourself okay in terms of relationship aspects, self-esteem and all of these things, there is definitely major, major reconciliation healing within on a soul level. This is between another person and you. If you had had strife in the past, I definitely feel there is some type of a reconciliation in which two people can sit down and hash out their differences. I definitely feel overcoming major strife 
coming through. I also feel that a lot of you are implementing a major, major move, transformation in your own life, in your own sense of self-worth, in your own sense of, you know, how do I align myself so that I can pursue a path that is better for myself on a spiritual, on an emotional, and even financial level. So a lot of you are thinking long-term, and a lot of you, unfortunately, I, I feel like there might be people you're living with that you have to move away from. There might also be, um, like, if you're dealing with some separation, a lot of that is going to, you know, finalize this month in which you're able to move on on your own because we do have a very solitary card which is you at the end of the spread which indicates a brand new phase which indicates new messages coming through from other people going back to this soulmate connection for a lot of you you are making a new connection with very very like-minded people this can be in friendships social network professional networks but also on the love sector as well which means that you are starting to see your own self-worth because by in the process of surrounding yourself with like-minded people, you are coming to a sense of, you know, appreciating the gifts that you have to offer the world, appreciating the talents, the assets that you bring onto the table. So there is definitely going to be a boost to your self-esteem. But in the meantime, before this healing, this boost, uh, to the self-esteem happens. I do feel there might be some self-doubt. There might be some people dragging you back into old conflicts, okay? That doesn't need to happen. You can definitely avoid it. Don't get worked up. It is really important for you to like, rather than jumping to conclusions or jumping, going into situation with the Knight of um, Wands here, it is really important to be strategic, to hold yourself back and to, you know, keep negative people out or find smarter ways to mitigate or even avoid conflict okay so diplomacy is going to go a long way actually